streaming live on News8000.com. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. I'm Jeff Andrews. It is Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. Waking up on this Tuesday, bit of a winter wonderland out there, isn't it? Yes, you and I got a little head start on the snow. It's starting to pick up in intensity right. now. It's been kind of slow on the go thus far. Not for yeah. everybody, but some. Right, right. When we came in, it wasn't too, too terrible. I saw the plows out already. Uh, you know, side streets definitely a little dicier. But yeah. uh, I guess it's only going to get a bit worse, right? Yes, a bit worse. That's a good <laughs> way to describe it. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, they'll get to the side roads, but there's priorities and stuff. And right. I don't know, how's that work with having that plow on the front of your car? Is that pretty good? Pretty handy? <laughs> I wish, I wish. Uh, I'll let you know. As a meteorologist, you should have that, actually. You know, uh, maybe. I, I don't, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that would be really a bad look if somebody spotted me with that on my vehicle. All right, so here's what we got going on. Similar situation to what we had yesterday, really. Most of the area with a winter storm warning. Areas north of La Crosse County, you could use I-94, that corridor, as a reference point with a winter weather advisory. In, la in fact, that you know, really what that means is less snow, less intensity overall. All right, the impacts, that's really among the most important things. Hazardous travel due to the accumulating snow and the wind as well, blowing and drifting. All right, you go south of I-94, it's uh, bad. Uh, you go further south of 90, worse. That's one way to look at it, okay? Here's what we're seeing right now. You see the snow picking up the darker blue. That's where the more intense snowfall is at this point. Temperatures generally in the 30s right now. That's where we're going to be today. Then we add the winds. It's not too bad right now, but they're going to be picking up as we get into the day today. I'm going to show you what's ahead for our day. Time out this storm. Look at the week as well. I have that in your full forecast in less than 10 minutes. Alexander. All right, Jeff, tracking the storm for us. Thank you. Time now for the stories we're following right now. As you've heard from meteorologist Jeff Andrews right there, most of our viewing area under winter weather alerts today. But the Midwest is not the only area impacted by severe weather. Amy Kiley reports. While some say let it snow, others want it to let up. Millions of Americans are under weather alerts today. A dangerous storm is pushing east after pummeling central states along the way. Kansas is under a state of disaster emergency declaration, and officials in many areas are asking drivers to be safe and be patient. And we thank everyone who is heeding this advice to stay off the streets if they're able to do so. You know, they're big trucks, they're loud, they're noisy. Just kind of give us some distance so, you know, we can get our job done so you can get to where you're trying to get. With such intense blizzards, it's hard for some community plow teams to keep up. We've transitioned to a 24 hour day operation all day long. We have people out working to clear snow. Weather warnings are set to expire in central states today and in the Midwest tomorrow. Next, the Northeast is in for the snow. Farther south, strong winds bring the risk of tornadoes, while coastal areas could endure floods. We're already having saltwater flooding, so we already know what's going to happen. And in Washington state, a new winter storm warning starts today. And throughout our newscast this morning, News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews will have the latest on the ongoing winter storm hitting our viewing area. A lacrosse man has been arrested after allegedly launching a projectile at a police squad car on Saturday. Police say 30 year old Sean Keller drove by and threw an unknown object toward an officer's vehicle. The projectile exploded with a flash of light, damaging the window and door frame of the squad car. Keller then drove away and didn't stop for officers. Over the past six months, Keller has shown similar behavior in three other incidents, including throwing ice and spit at squad cars. His arrest warrant included a $100,000 cash bond. The competency of a Toma man accused of trying to kill two people on Thanksgiving is in question. 44-year-old George Solis's attorney requested a competency exam for his client in court yesterday. According to the criminal complaint, Solis and his family were watching football on Thanksgiving when he suddenly stabbed one of the victims with a kitchen knife. When a family member tried to step in, Solis also tried to stab him. The first victim was taken to Gunderson with life-threatening injuries. Solis is currently held in Monroe County Jail on a $500,000 cash bond. His next hearing is next month. 
The Republican Party chair for the state of Florida out of a job this morning. Christian Ziegler has been removed from his post amid an ongoing sexual assault investigation. The state's GOP suspending Ziegler last month, saying he would not be an effective leader while dealing with those allegations. Authorities are investigating whether he broke Florida's video voyeurism laws after allegedly recording a sexual encounter. He's currently not facing any criminal charges. New Hampshire's Attorney General is discussing the Democratic National Committee of committing unlawful voter suppression in a cease and desist order. The new order comes after the party also said to state Democrats that delegates would not be awarded based on their primary. Last week, the DNC's Rules and Bylaws Committee sent New Hampshire Democrats a letter saying the primaries were, quote, meaningless. And the state of California is announcing when the special election to replace former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy will be held. The primary for the special election will be held March 19th, with the special election held on May 21st. McCarthy announced his resignation last month after being removed as House Speaker back in October. We could soon see higher internet bills. That's the word from the Federal Communications Commission, which is warning that millions of Americans could see the hikes if Congress doesn't approve funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program. That program helps give low-income families discounts on their monthly internet bills. And nearly 23 million American households currently take advantage of that program. The White House has previously requested Congress to provide the program with another $6 billion in funding to keep it alive. NASA's Artemis moon mission may be delayed, according to sources close to the mission. It was expected to take four astronauts on a flyby journey to the moon. NASA's Inspector General previously hinting at delays in a report released in November, citing issues the agency would need to address prior to launch. The mission would be the first time humans would be in the moon's orbit since the end of the Apollo program back in the early 70s. In your medical news this morning, whether you like it or not, the snow is here, and you know what that means. It's time to shovel. But did you know that that tedious task can also be pretty hard on your heart and body? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, shoveling snow can be a form of strenuous exercise. You probably know that if you do it. Mixed with near-freezing temperatures, it can trigger a heart attack. Chiropractor Dr. Dylan Hams shows us the proper way to shovel snow. If we get 10 or 15 inches of snow, don't go to the bottom and lift all of it at once. Get like the top portion of it. So just be really cautious with that. Ideally, push the snow. Try to avoid a lot of aggressive twisting motions. According to the Mayo Clinic, if you do have to shovel snow, remember to dress properly for the weather, stay hydrated, and try to snovel, shovel the snow when it's freshly fallen. Also, have your phone nearby in case you do need to call for help. Wisconsin Republicans are unveiling their new medical marijuana proposal. That bill would limit medical marijuana to only severely ill people with chronic conditions like cancer. It would also only be dispensed at five state-run locations. Smokable marijuana would not be allowed. Governor Tony Evers' spokesperson says he'll review that plan. The measure is far from the full legalization Evers and Democrats have pushed for years. Have you heard of sleep divorce? It may be a good idea if your partner's snoring, tossing, and turning is keeping you up at night. Mandy Gaither takes a closer look at the growing trend and how it may save your relationship. It's a blast from the past. An old trend gaining new traction in homes across the U.S. Sleeping separately from your partner. Sleep divorce, and I don't really like that name because it suggests, you know, divorce sounds so dire. Um, but we want to achieve sleep compatibility, so it doesn't need to be an all or nothing solution. Psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig says sleep is a critical part of overall health. Those who don't get their recommended Z's can be more vulnerable to certain medical conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular problems, even dementia. But she says sleeping in separate beds can impact intimacy. If you'd like to try the trend, she advises to go for it on an as-needed basis. If you have a big business meeting or if you find during the week it's really important for you to have good sleep, you know, you can find that you may 
maybe have separate sleep for a period of time and then sleep together on the weekends. If you do sleep separately, Ludwig says to find time to be intimate and to connect with one another. And if you're not sleeping through the night when together, she says to make sure something else isn't at play. If you find that there's no medical reason for it and there doesn't appear to be some psychological conflict underlying the separate sleeping issues, you know, then you can figure out a plan that makes sense for both of you. The bottom line is sleep divorce isn't right for everyone and you should stick to the arrangement that works best for you. The time now is 510 still ahead on your morning news. It is that time of year tax season. The IRS just released the date. It'll start accepting tax returns. We'll tell you when you can start filing this year in just a few minutes and retirees and soon to be retirees may soon see some changes in both their social security payments and Medicare. After the break, we'll take a look at how the new changes may impact your wallet. That and more coming up this morning. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. If you're looking for a job, maybe try this one. Oscar Meyer is hiring a dozen new drivers for its fleet of Wienermobiles. The official job title of the Wienermobile driver is the hot dogger. It's their job to travel the country in one of the six Wienermobiles to meet and greet the public. Base pay is about 35K. Benefits include a $150 per week allowance, a health plan, and fully covered hotel expenses. If you're between jobs and you've ever wondered what it would be like to maneuver a 27-foot hot dog through traffic or how it handles at top speed on the highway, who hasn't wondered that? You can apply on the Oscar Mayer website. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now This Morning is just after the break. Bladder leak underwear has one job. I just want to feel protected. Especially for those sudden gush moments. When your keys are in the door and your body's like, it's happening. If you're worried about your protection, it's not the right protection. Always Discreet protects like no other. With double leak guards that help prevent gushes escaping from the sides and a rapid dry core that locks in your heaviest gush quickly for up to zero leaks. And it contours to every body. Now this is protection. Always Discreet, the protection we deserve. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you equipped with quality tools and project supplies because we get you. Whether you're a hardworking pro or an ambitious DIYer, we get you what you need to get the job done. Right now, save on these four packs of DeWalt batteries, $179. $10 off these 250-foot rolls of indoor wire. Plus, trade in any used power or hand tool for exclusive trade-in savings on select DeWalt tools and accessories. We get you what you need because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Maxwell White, done right. Looking to remodel your bath or shower? Call the professionals at Maxwell White. Our trained and licensed technicians will come to your home and install or replace your unit in as little as one day. Taking care of you and your home with speed and efficiency without sacrificing quality. Let the professionals at Maxwell White tackle your next bathroom project. 7864004. Now offering financing on repairs and projects of all sizes. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles and get one for $1. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Morning, glad you're with us. Well, quarter after five, 515 right now. Wintry day for us. A winter storm warning in place. All oh, this area here. Reference point. Here's Lacrosse. Now for Eau Claire, 
It is a winter weather advisory, less snowfall, less intensity overall. That's a short version. Where is the intensity right now? The darker blue colors that you see, Black River Falls, Winona, La Crosse. It's spotty at this point, but the rates are going to increase. The coverage is going to increase as we get into the day. Temperatures generally around the freezing mark at least help as far as the snow removal and uh, maybe a little bit of melting in there. La Crosse 33, 31 though, Eau Claire, Winona 32, same for Black River Falls, Sparta 31, Prairie du Chien about 32. The winds roughly about 10 miles an hour, give or take out of the east at this point, east northeast. They'll be on the increase today, adding to blowing and drifting issues. As far as highs today in the 30s, 34 Barry Mills, La Crosse, West Salem 33, 34 on Alaska. Further south, Lynxville 34, Walcon 31, Brownsville, La Crescent about 34 for the high. Working our way a little further north, low 30s for the most part. Chippewa Valley, Cornell 33, 34 for the high in Eau Claire. Now, hopefully you're not waiting for the school bus. Pretty sure most schools are canceled today, but if you're outside, hanging out, maybe you are waiting for a ride, a bus to uh, go to work, 32. With the snow, a little bit of a breeze, more wind later, more snow later. We're going to go through this storm, time it out, and have your full forecast in less than five minutes. In your consumer news this morning, flavored cigarettes will stay banned in the state of California. That comes after the Supreme Court rejected a challenge to the flavored tobacco ban. Major tobacco companies have argued the ban violates the Tobacco Control Act. That federal law leaves tobacco bans and regulation up to the FDA instead of states. In turn, California argued the Tobacco Control Act does not prohibit states from imposing their own regulations. Some employers may be telling employees to head back to the office, but office vacancies are still on the rise. According to Moody's Analytics, there are currently more empty offices than at any time since 1979. That's because more people, of course, working at home. The office vacancy rate rose by 19.6% in just the last quarter. That marks the largest quarterly increase since the height of the pandemic in the first quarter of 2021. If you want to get a jump on your federal income taxes, the IRS says it'll start accepting 2023 returns on January 29th. Mark your calendars. Of course, if you're not an early bird, you'll still have until April 15th to get your taxes filed. Anyone living or doing business in a federally declared disaster area may also have a later date. The Wisconsin Department of Revenue will start accepting state returns the same day as the IRS. Again, that's January 29th. Managing your finances can be challenging, especially if you're living on a fixed income. And this year won't be any different. Retirees and soon to be retirees could expect some changes to both your Social Security payments and Medicare. Ivan Rodriguez spoke with the ARP and has some tips. U.S. inflation continued to decline in 2023 and the financial picture for Americans, including retirees, is improving. For that reason, monthly Social Security payments will only rise by 3.2 percent this year based on the cost of living adjustment. AARP Senior Vice President Bill Sweeney says the boost is a bit disappointing in contrast to 2022's 8.7 percent increase, a 40-year high. This is probably not enough for them to, to, to be able to feel comfortable and confident about their savings. Another concern, standard premiums for Medicare Part B are back on the rise. The portion of Medicare that covers doctor visits and other outpatient treatment is up 6 percent. On the bright side, people who haven't retired yet can now sock more money away. People 50 and over can contribute up to $30,500 to a 401k or another type of deferred compensation plan this year. That's a little bit extra money that you can put away uh, in your retirement, which is a great way to save and get caught up uh, before you retire. Finally, four decades after Congress voted to slowly raise the full retirement age from 65 to 67, oh. the goal close to being achieved, reaching 66 in eight months in the final half of 2024. While you can begin collecting Social Security before age 67, your payments will be permanently reduced. On the other hand, waiting until 70 earns you a bonus. We really urge people to, to think about when is the right age to start claiming Social Security to maximize how much money you can get. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 519. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews and get a look at today's forecast. All eyes are on you today, Jeff.
Oh, thank you. Added pressure. I think I got a handle on things. Winter storm warning, all the area in the pink. Purple, that would be a winter weather advisory further north. The totals, southwestern Wisconsin, as far as our viewers, the highest totals overall in the state, really closer to the Madison area, generally speaking. It is an alert day for us, all right? Hazardous travel, accumulating snow and the wind, the blowing and drifting, that adds to the hazard. South I-94, conditions decrease. Uh, further south than I-90, that's where the worst of it is to generalize things for us. Here's what we're seeing. I notice that you can't really tell here, but the rates have picked up over the last hour or so. It doesn't look bad from the inside looking out. Here's the core of the storm that we're watching right here. The further south, the better for us as far as uh, really our intensity. A, a better travel situation is what I'm getting at. You see the dark blue here. That's where the, the more intense snow is at this point. It's 33 in La Crosse. Feels like 27. We have a northeast breeze about 7 miles an hour. Eau Claire is 31, 25. Light breeze as well. The winds, as you can see across the area, this is generally what we're looking at now. Now the gusts as we get into the day, they're generally in the 20s right now as far as gusts. Now we get into the afternoon hours, a little more so, closer to the 30, 35 miles an hour as far as wind gusts potentially, maybe even higher than that in some spots as we get into the afternoon. That is better as we get into Wednesday. That's going to add to the blowing and drifting, making things tougher as far as removal of the snow. The visibility, that ties in as well. Some spots with diminished visibility. Ideally, you want to see 10, like Ladysmith has. Winona, La Crosse, Boscobel, only a couple miles of visibility. So you're out on the roadways, that's something else to contend with. Towards 7 o'clock this morning, a little more coverage with the snow across our area at this point. Taking you further into the day. I'm actually jumping into the afternoon hours, evening. You see towards 10 o'clock. Most of it is out of play for us by the time we get towards the later hours of this evening. Wednesday is cloudy, then the potential for seeing more snow Wednesday night. Snowfall amounts generally further north into the west. You see lower totals. You go more to the south and the east. Nine plus inches of snow potentially. I could see a few spots hitting a foot. Temperatures are going to hang in the 30s today with the well, light snow, but it's going to be heavy at times for some locations. Highs elsewhere, you get the general idea, low, mid-30s today. That is kind of favorable as far as the removal. Of course, it also makes for some pretty heavy wet snow to shovel. It's an alert day for us. Tonight down to 25 for our Wednesday cloudy. Perhaps some light snow again, 31 for the high. On Thursday, 26 and partly sunny. Friday, a chance of seeing some measurable snowfall once again in 26. Colder temperature uh, there ahead for us, Alexandra. Looks like it, Jeff. Thank you. The time now is 522. Still ahead on your morning news. Although he's not normally in a classroom, one Bangor educator is making a major impact on students. Coming up, News 8 Now's Ken Kozarowski has the first top-notch teacher of 2024. A few of our area high school basketball teams looking to start the week with a win on Monday night. Holman girls in a battle against Eau Claire North. Plus the Bucks looking to get back on track. All that coming up in the Blitz. Have your own five-star experience at Dahl Auto. Did you know 80% of women are struggling with hair damage? Dryness and frizz that keeps coming back could be damaged hair that can't retain moisture. You need Pantene's Miracle Rescue Deep Conditioner. It's filled with provitamins to help hair lock in moisture, visibly repairing six months of damage in just one use with no way down. Guaranteed or your money back for hair that looks healthy and stays healthy. If you know, you know it's Pantene. We all know how weather goes around here. 
so why not take the first warn team with you? Stay weather aware with hourly temps and conditions, video forecasts, and interactive radar. And the best part? It's easy to use. Here, try it. When you feel that chill in the air, make sure your furnace will keep you comfortable. Call GNT Heating and Air Conditioning. Quality you can count on, experience you can trust. With over 50 years of combined experience, GNT services residential and commercial within 50 miles of West Salem. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The board store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. My dry eyes made me a burning, stinging five times a day. Makeup smearing, drops user. I want another option. That's not another drop. Tirvaya, it's not another drop. It's the first and only nasal spray for dry eye. Tirvaya treats the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease fast by helping your body produce its own real tears. Common side effects include sneezing, cough, and throat and nose irritation. Relying only on drops? Not me. My own real tears are my relief. Ask your eye doctor about Tirvaya. In every department at Doll Auto, you'll find people who've been in the industry for decades. In over 100 years at Doll Auto, we've learned to value experience. After working with our team, you'll value our experience too. Doll Auto, simple. New windows can give you a whole new view of the world around you. Call today for a prompt free estimate from the Board Store Home Improvements, 782-8877. Welcome to the Blitz. The high school basketball schedule might take a little bit of a hit this week because of the weather, but we had some area teams in action last night looking for a win. We'll start on the girls' side. Let's go to home and Vikings at home playing host to Eau Claire North. Early first half, Danica Raban from downtown. You bet. Holman takes a three-point lead. Huskies answer back, though. Other end, Katara Smith from deep. The banks open on Mondays. Eau Claire jumps in front by two. Holman responds. Raban, nice look to Hadley Teff. She gets the hometown bounce. We're tied at 15. This one was back and forth all night. North looking for the lead. Ellie O'Keefe getting fancy. Her pull-up Jay puts the Huskies back in front. But here comes Holman again. Great ball movement by the Vikings. Macy Klein buries the triple. Vikings go up 20 to 17. And then more great shooting from the home team. Sydney Villisca pulls up from three-point land. Nothing but net. Four-point lead for the Vikings. Second half now, Huskies not going away. Great find to O'Keefe. She floats at home. Eau Claire jumps back in front of the Vikings, showing their toughness off the miss. Tef grabs the board. Lydia Olsen is going to put it in. Big night for Izzy Jar as well. She had 20 and 15. Vikings storm back and get the win, 59 to 51. Over to Cochrane Fountain City High. Pirates hosting Luther for a non-conference matchup. The defending state champs off to a quick start. Logan Barr, the rebound, full court pass to Sinclair Bias. Knights with the early lead. A few minutes later, Jackson Kendall hands it off to Barr, puts it up from three, knocks it down. Knights cruising at this point, but CFC storms back. Cameron Lipinski step back three. That's cash. Pirates cut into the lead. Then Drew Wicka, dribble drive, kicks it out to Austin Arnberg. He hits a three of his own. Pirates pull within five, but the Knights Find another gear. Adam Scriver gets two guys to jump on the pump fake. He puts it in. Luther goes on to get the win, 82 to 67. All right, let's go to Whitehall. Norse taking on the Max out of McDonald Catholic. Max up early in the first half. Carson Galvez is going to put it in. That puts his squad up by 13. All right, later on, ball to Kale Holm now. He was on fire last night. Knocks back a quick three. McDonald still in control, but the Norse start fighting back from beyond the arc. It's Grant Olsen. He knocks down the three. Whitehall hanging in there. All right, later on, Braden lazowski has got the ball, pulls the trigger from deep. That one's good as well. Norse staying in the fight, but it won't be enough on this night. Holm is going to sink another one from downtown. Norse come up short at home, 65 to 45. Bucks back at home last night looking to get back on track. No dame in this one, and it showed. Jazz taking full advantage of it. Utah puts up 41 in the first quarter. The Jazz never look back. They win this one 132 to 116. As for the Bucks, they've now dropped four of their last five. They'll look to get back on the win column Thursday night at home 
against those first place Celtics. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court, and that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. The Camper. It has been a reliable companion for your family's good times. But after years of use, it is showing some wear and tear. A broken window from an errant baseball, a couch that your dog allegedly chewed on, and an AC unit that doesn't work like it should. It's time to call Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. We have been improving your family's camper since 1970. Call us today and we will make your camper feel brand new. Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. Repair. Refinish. Remarkable. At U.S. Cellular, anyone can get any phone free. So give yourself a free phone from U.S. Cellular. She's here! Then, give yourself the gift of not checking it. The gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. New and current customers get any phone free. Economy Furniture in Chippewa Falls is something that you got to see. The biggest selection for miles around, two jam-packed floors of quality. At Economy, you don't have to wait for a sale. It can be yours immediately. Everyday low prices on the best brand names, and we finance it interest-free. Furnishing the Chippewa Valley since 1950. Economy Furniture's for me. Jordan's sore nose let out a fiery sneeze, so Dad grabbed Puffs Plus Lotion to soothe her with ease. Puffs Plus Lotion is gentle on sensitive skin and locks in moisture to provide soothing relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. Sometimes Jonah wrestles with falling asleep, so he takes z the world's number one sleep aid brand, and wakes up feeling like himself. Get the rest to be your best with non-habit-forming z -Quil. Better days start with z -Quil. Craving authentic Mexican flavors? Look no further than Senor Villa. At Senor Villa, we bring the taste of Mexico to your table every day. Join us for our unbeatable $5 lunch specials packed with flavor and value. And don't miss our nightly specials where the fiesta never ends. Senor Villa, where great food beats great value. Visit us today. Senor Villa, the taste of Mexico you've been craving. If you've been in a serious accident, you need a serious legal team. By Goff and Rohde is the Western Wisconsin powerhouse. Attorneys who won't settle for less than you deserve. Call By Goff and Rohde. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Welcome back. La Crosse County Supervisors say they have a plan to end homelessness. Last night, they invited members of the La Crosse City Council to hear their strategy firsthand. News 8 Now's Shaquille Davis has that story for us. Alex, County Supervisors played host to a packed house last night, eager to hear their solution to the homelessness. And while things like affordable housing and mental health are crucial components of the county strategy, prevention took center stage. According to Lacrosse Homeless Service Coordinator Brian Sampson, the plan is broken down in what he calls eight action pathways. These are eight different pathways that the plan is targeting to fight homelessness. Some of these pathways involve getting the homeless in comfortable shelters, creating more affordable housing options, a mental health plan, and obviously preventing homelessness to begin with. Sampson says that last night was all about being upfront with the public. So we've really went under a comprehensive planning process to engage the community. And so tonight we wanted to be transparent and, and share with everybody what is the plan. This is the first unveiling to anybody about the entire plan. Now the plan was approved by the mayor and the county administrator. Sampson also says the next step is implementation. Alex, I'm sending it back to you. 
Thank you, Shaq. The city of La Crosse has declared a snow emergency starting this morning, which means alternate side parking will be in effect. Enforcement will start at 6 a.m. and will last 48 hours ending Thursday. On odd numbers day, odd numbered days, you should park on the side of the street with odd numbered addresses. And on even numbered days, park on the side of the street with even numbered addresses. To stay on top of snow emergency alerts, you can sign up for text notifications on the city's website. We have a link for that on our website. New News8000.com. A long-term state representative from Winona says he will not be seeking re-election. In a statement, Legislative District 26A Representative Gene Pulowski Jr. says this will be his last year in the role. He served in the Minnesota State Legislature for 38 years. During that tenure, Pulowski served as the chair of the Higher Education Finance and Policy Committee and chair of the Government Operations and Reform Committee. Let it snow. The La Crosse Public Library threw a winterful winter wonderland ball last night for kids looking to have some frosty fun. The event was for kids aged five and under and their parents. Games, a sledding hill, a dance contest. There's Elsa too. Even an epic snowball fight were all part of the wintry festivities. Frozen hot chocolate, which was actually ice cream in disguise, was served alongside other icy treats to fuel the night's merriment. There's a lot of beauty in the winter, um, even without the snow. It's just a time to get together and celebrate. So that's why we like to light it up a little bit um, to kind of offset the dark and the cold and just be together. Perfect timing for that event. She also said that she's hoping kids can continue the celebration by waking up this morning to a blanket of snow. Our first top-notch teacher of 2024 may not have a classroom of kids, but he is inspiring hundreds of students in Bangor. It's thanks in part to a new friendship defined by a mission to spread kindness. News 8 Now's Ken Kozarowski has this month's top-notch teacher. Top-notch teacher is sponsored by Viterbo University and Dahl Honda. A classroom of kids every day didn't quite call to a young Matt Jacobson, but the counselor's office sure did. I shadowed an elementary school counselor and I'm like, this is what I want to do. Because he knew what it was like to feel lonely and how a little kindness and perspective could make all the difference. School is actually really rough for me. I graduated, I was 5'2", 91 pounds at a D1 school in Wausau West. And so school wasn't always the kindest place and now I just want to kind of be that that light to hope kids help them along. So since joining Bangor Elementary as a guidance counselor, he's put himself on a mission. I'm trying to make our world a better place. Kathleen Jensen nominated Jacobson for this top-notch teacher. They share the same mission. It's an honor to be his friend. Jensen runs the Little Heart Project. She crochets hearts with messages for suicide prevention. And in less than two years, volunteers across the country have joined her. Jacobson wanted his students to join in too. Just one problem, he can't crochet. So I kind of came up with this idea to make beads um, with pearl bead hearts. And Jensen loved it. Oh, this is what we can do with kids. And, and we're not going to talk necessarily about suicide in grade school, but we're going to talk about kindness. So each Tuesday, Jacobson's Make a Difference Club is churning out hearts of their own. Probably April and May to get 350 hearts made. Making sure every student in the school district has one and letting them know even a heart-shaped act of kindness can change the world. I think it's when you have second and third graders that come and bring me a heart that they made at home and they're like, we want to donate this to the club. And they know that we're going to pass it on to someone. And these hearts become people's stories. It's not just a little piece of plastic. The world's not always perfect. So we give heart to them to try and make their day. Jacobson hopes the school club can keep extending their mission outside the building, like to a nursing home for next month's Valentine's Day, or even a tree at Rotary Lights. The time now is 538. Here's News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews to tell us what to expect on that morning commute. Jeff, what can we expect out there? I would say caution and order. That would be the first thing I'd like to offer up. Winter storm warning. The Ollie area in the pink runs through tonight. Some spots a little longer into Wednesday morning. The area you see in the purple winter weather advisory. Less snow expected. Good generalization there. Uh, I'm going to say don't drive if you don't have to. Red, maybe that's a little extreme. Caution is really what we want to have if we're out on the roadways today. Conditions are going to deteriorate as we get a little further into the day. The uh, snow rates are going to increase. The winds are going to pick up as well. Thus, 
the drifting, the travel issues, visibility as well. It is an alert day for us. Hazardous travel due to the aforementioned South I-84. You work your way further south, conditions will uh, decrease as far as improvement. Uh, I would say diminish might be a better word. You see where the heavier snow is at this point. I'm going to go through this, uh, your sky tracker, time out this storm for you and look at the rest of the week. We have some changes ahead. I'll do that in your full forecast. That's coming up next. Following that, we have our buzz report. Kevin Hart is in a new heist movie. We're going to take a look at Lyft. That's in our entertainment news. That's coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hardy's Double Deals start at $2.99. Choose a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, or new barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. $2.99 never looks so good. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. Enjoy an evening of folk music as the Pump House Regional Arts Center presents John Smith with Dan Sobronic, Larry Dalton, and Elise Smith-Waller, January 12th and 13th at 7.30 p.m. It's the Midwest Players Classic High School Basketball Showcase Friday and Saturday, January 12th and 13th, happening at the Lacrosse Center. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. At Toma Health, we're caring for our community through our partnership with the Toma Area School District. I'm Mike Hansen. I'm the superintendent of schools for the Toma Area School District. Toma Health's commitment to our school district is felt in our classrooms and our co-curricular activities and throughout our community. I'm proud of our organizational partnership with Toma Health because they help us become even better educators in our endeavor to provide high quality student learning to every child every day. Toma Health, caring for our community. Bladder leak underwear has one job. I just want to feel protected. Especially for those sudden gush moments. When your keys are in the door and your body's like, it's happening. If you're worried about your protection, it's not the right protection. Always Discreet protects like no other. With double leak guards that help prevent gushes escaping from the sides and a rapid dry core that locks in your heaviest gush quickly for up to zero leaks. And it contours to every body. Now this is protection. Always Discreet, the protection we deserve. Huga, a calm, comfortable time with people you love. Often enjoyed with a good book, a warm blanket, and a crackling fire. Let La Crosse Fireplace Company help create this feeling in your home. Choose a heat and glow fireplace in gas, wood, or pellet. Stay warm and cozy with a heat and glow fireplace from La Crosse Fireplace Company because your place is by the fire. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Thanks for being with us. It's almost quarter to 6, 542 right now on a uh, very wintry Tuesday morning for us. A winter weather advisory, the area is in the purple. You see what we have here, that is a winter storm warning. We had that in place yesterday, or at least we knew it was had for our evening. It is an alert day today. Hazardous travel due to accumulating snow and wind. You get the drifting, the visibility issues. You work your way I-94 and south, conditions diminish as you move from the north to the south. Here's what we're seeing right now. It looks like it's even picked up in intensity compared to what I saw last hour. It might be hard to tell on your monitor, but you can see how kind of cloudy it is. The big picture, here's where the core of the system is right now. You look at St. Louis, it's moving fairly quick, rotating to the north and east. As it does, the snowfall for us 
Here's where the more intense snow is right now. I have this on a three hour loop, so it might be a little hard to follow, but it's the darker blue area right here. But it's certainly going to be changing as we go through the day. It's 33 in La Crosse right now. 27, that's what it feels like with the northeast breeze at this point. In Eau Claire, 31, cloudy. Uh, the snowfall, pretty minimal. Northeast wind about six miles an hour. All right, the winds generally across the area. You see they're somewhat looping. We're going to call it east-northeast, anywhere in that 5 to 10 mile an hour range. Some spots a little more intense than that. Now the gusts as we get into the day, most spots right now the gusts are 20, 25 miles an hour, which is enough. This afternoon, now look at all these numbers anywhere. I'd say roughly 30 mile an hour gust. Some spots a little stronger than that. And the winds will be coming generally out of the north. You don't get uh, warm uh, breezes out of the north. Not in our part of the country. As we get into our Wednesday, better situation. The winds should calm down at that point. The visibility issues, ideally, you want to see 10, like Lady Smith has. Everybody's dealing with a little bit of visibility uh, as far as the issues right now. Winona, a mile. Viroqua, about a mile of visibility. Sparta, so so. La Crosse at the airport, about two miles of visibility. As we get towards the 7 o'clock hour, you can see the snow coverage at that point. Across the state, uh, west to east, north as far as Ladysmith. By the time we get into the evening hours, uh, I'm going to say towards 7, 8 o'clock, it'll be winding down by 10 o'clock. Most of it should be out of our area, our viewing area, by that point. And then Wednesday, we've got the cloud cover. And got to show you Wednesday into late Wednesday night into perhaps early Thursday. Could get another round. This time it looks to be much lighter snow. All right, snowfall totals roughly. This is what we're looking at. Figure it this way, northwest to southeast with the increasing amounts. There's some spots that could see a foot. Some spots may only see an inch or two of snow. In the low 30s, perhaps mid 30s today with the cloud cover and the snow and varying rates, our high temperatures in the 30s for our day today. A little bit on the milder side, but with the wind, it's not going to feel like it. It's going to feel like low 20s on our alert day. Tonight down to 25, snow winding down for tomorrow. Uh, 31 for the high, perhaps some p.m. snow on Thursday 26. And then we start to see the temperatures, the highs and the overnight lows decreasing as we get towards a chilly weekend. In our morning buzz report, ASAP Rocky is pleading not guilty to felony charges that he shot a former friend. The rapper, whose real name is Rakeem Mayers, pleaded not guilty to two counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm at a Los Angeles court. The 35-year-old, who is the partner of fellow musician Rihanna, is accused of firing shots that grazed the hand of Terrell Efron, better known as ASAP Relly. That happened after a heated argument in Hollywood in November of 2021. ASAP Rocky is free on bond. I feel wonderful. I feel wonderful. I mean, uh, it's a great location. It's a great honor. I have my friends here. Uh, there's lots of fans. It's a good day. That was Willem Dafoe being honored by the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The 68-year-old appeared to have a great time getting his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Dafoe is the 2,768th star on the Walk of Fame. While most celebs leave after the unveiling, Dafoe stuck around to sign autographs. The Spider-Man star was actually born and raised here in Wisconsin. He grew up in Appleton and attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Can I get you a drink, Gabby? Agent Gladwell. Am I in trouble? We need you to steal something. <laughs> that was a look at the upcoming Kevin Hart film, Lift. The heist comedy sees Hart lead a crew of international thieves who have to steal $500 million in gold bars, all while 40,000 feet in the air on a flight from London to Zurich. You can watch Lift on Netflix starting Friday. A missing scientist found on the edge of the villages. Frozen solid. True Detective Night Country will be the fourth season of the crime anthology series. The new season stars Jodie Foster as the police chief of a town in Alaska. Foster teams up with Callie Rice to investigate the mysterious disappearance of eight men from a research station north of the Arctic Circle, where the sun doesn't come up for weeks at a time. The first episode of the six-part season comes out this Sunday on HBO. Before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. Skylar is turning 8 years old today. She loves being around animals. Awesome. Yeah, there's an animal there. Oh yeah, you can see her there. 
uh, with looks like Fish. some kind of reptile. <laughs> Happy birthday to her. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. That's right. Just upload their photo. Go to our website, news8000.com. There's a tab that says Submit Pictures. It's on the Home tab. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your Morning News Now is up next. Hardy's Double Deal start at $2.99. Choose a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, or new barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. $2.99 never looks so good. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Exciting news. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. With a stunning titanium design and the best iPhone camera yet. The thing that Cut. I love. Hmm? Beautiful. Now let's cue the music. Green screen. Huh? U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Come on, man, it's titanium. U.S. Cellular has the amazing new iPhone. Cut, love it. I felt good. New and current customers can get the iPhone 15 Pro with titanium on us. Get the gift of connection at U.S. Cellular. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. News 8 Now and the Co-op Credit Union are taking part in Chase the Chill. Chase the Chill is a project across North America that provides warm clothing to people in need. Scarves, hats, and gloves are hung on trees in parks with notes attached to them, letting people know they can take them. Co-op Credit Union and our community are conducting our own Chase the Chill campaign from December through February. Together, we can keep our community warm this winter. Donations will be accepted at the Co-op Credit Union location in Bone, Alaska. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Welcome back. It's 551. Time for your morning news now. A lacrosse man has been arrested after allegedly launching a projectile at a police squad car on Saturday. Police say this man, 30-year-old Sean Keller, drove by and threw an unknown object toward an officer's vehicle. The projectile exploded with a flash of light, damaging the window and door frame of the car. Keller then drove away and did not stop for officers. Over the past six months, he's shown similar behavior in three other incidents, including throwing ice and spit at squad cars. His arrest warrant included a $100,000 cash bond. The competency of a Toma man accused of trying to kill two people on Thanksgiving is in question. 44-year-old George Solis's attorney requested a competency exam for his client in court yesterday. According to the criminal complaint, Solis and his family were watching football on Thanksgiving when he suddenly stabbed one of the victims with a kitchen knife. When a family member tried to step in, Solis also tried to stab him. The first victim was taken to Gunderson with life-threatening injuries. Solace is currently held in the Monroe County Jail on a $500,000 cash bond. His next hearing is in February. The City of La Crosse declaring a snow emergency starting this morning, which means alternate side parking will be in effect. Enforcement starts in about 8 minutes at 6 a.m. It'll last 48 hours ending Thursday. On odd-numbered days, you should park on the side of the street with odd-numbered addresses. And on even-numbered days, park on the side of the street with even-numbered addresses. To stay on top of snow emergency alerts, you can sign up for text notifications on the city's website. Wisconsin Republicans unveiling their new medical marijuana proposal. That bill would limit medical marijuana to only severely ill people with chronic conditions like cancer. It would also only be dispensed at five state-run locations. Smokable marijuana would not be allowed. Governor Tony Evers' spokesperson says he'll review the plan. The measure is far from the full legalization Evers and other Democrats have been pushing for years. Let it snow. The La Crosse Public Library threw a winterful winter wonderland ball last night for kids looking to have some frosty fun. The event was for kids ages five and under. Games, a sledding hill, a dance contest, and even that epic snowball fight you saw there were all part of the wintry festivities. Frozen hot chocolate was served alongside other icy treats to fuel the night's merriment. 
There's a lot of beauty in the winter. Um, even without the snow, it's just a time to get together and celebrate. So that's why we like to light it up a little bit um, to kind of offset the dark and the cold and just be together. And she went on to say she's hoping the kids can continue their snow celebration this morning by waking up with a blanket of snow. It is an alert day and here is why a winter storm warning the area in the pink that covers an awful lot of turf. The area in the purple a winter weather advisory less snow expected. Good uh, generalization. All right, here's what it looks like for snowfall potential as far as totals northwest to southeast use that as somewhat of a gauge as to how much snow we expect through this evening round one. All right, here's how it looks on Sky Tracker this morning. We get into the afternoon It's certainly not past us by noon and later in the afternoon. Afternoon commute likely impacted as well. It gets better for tonight than cloudy skies and maybe a little bit of uh, snow ahead for us as we get towards our, uh, our Wednesday. Unfortunately, here's our day today though. And we got some colder temperatures ahead, Alexandra. Yes, we do. All right. Well, two comedy legends stole this show at the Golden Globes. The pair of comedy legends taking the stage to present the award for best actor in a comedy or musical, but their supposedly serious presentation was continuously interrupted by a funny little song leading the pair to break out in a bizarre dance routine. The audience reacted enthusiastically to the SNL alums who got a better reaction than the night's host, comedian Joe Coy. Well, the snow is here. That means you may have to start shoveling your sidewalks and driveways. But do you know the safest way to do so? Coming up, we'll take a look at the best practices when shoveling the heavy and wet snow. New clues this morning as aviation experts try to figure out how a door flew off a 737 MAX 9 jet mid-flight. I'm Jared Hill with what authorities say they think happened. For a state-of-the-art after-sales experience for your Audi, other high-end and European vehicles, there's one place to go, Maury's Audi in Alaska. Highly trained, Audi-specific technicians will take care of your vehicle while you wait in an exclusive cafe and lounge. Schedule today. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Inez, let me ask you, you're using head and shoulders, right? Only when I see flakes. Then I switch back to my regular shampoo. You should use it every wash. Otherwise, the flakes will come back. He's right, you know. Is that Tiny Troy? The ingredients in head and shoulders keep the microbes that cause flakes that big. Microbes? Really? They're always on your scalp. Little rascals. But good news, there's no itchiness, dryness, or flakes down here. I love Tiny Troy and his tiny, gorgeous hair. He's the best. Make every wash count. Little help, please. When we at Riverbank made our new youth savings account, we wanted to learn more about how kids thought about money. So we went right to the source. Our first question was, what is a loan? When people um, leave you alone. <laughs> Not being friends. When you borrow people's money and then you give them money back. That you um, at home with no parents. Riverbank, local banking made simple. Jolivet Family Farms features one of the area's largest selections of frozen seafood, including king crab legs, lobster tail, shrimp, cod, calamari, alligator, salmon fillets, smelt, and frog legs. Choose from our large selection of fresh fruit and vegetables to complete your restaurant-style dinner prepared at home. Your dinner isn't complete without something from the Jolivet Homemade Bakery. Don't forget a bottle of Door County wine to complete your stay-at-home night out at Jolivet Family Farms, West Salem. Escape the chaos of everyday life and experience true relaxation and improved health at Revive Wellness Spa. Unlike any spa in the area, Revive Wellness Spa is your first choice for self-care. Our services include red light therapy, meditation pod, an infrared sauna, a float tank, and so much more. Call or book online today and receive up to 60% off your first service. 
Don't forget to ask about our detox specials. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving LaCrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. When your vehicle needs service, go to Maury's VW in Alaska. Competitive rates and highly trained automotive technicians will have your Volkswagen or other domestic vehicles back on the road. While you wait, feel the friendly, upbeat, and engaging energy flow of our service lounge. Schedule today. The Board Store Home Improvements. Everyday low prices on bathroom remodels for seniors and families. Contact us today for a prompt, free estimate. Streaming live on News8000.com. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. I'm Jeff Andrews. It is Tuesday, January 9th, 2024. Today, it looks like January 9th. Yes, yeah, <laughs> it's a snow it? day. It is indeed. Uh, so yeah, waking up, there is some snow outside, snow on the ground. Good news is we've seen several snow plows out there already working to clear the Oh yeah, I've, I've been thinking they've been rolling since last night, I bet. I think Probably so. treating the roads and all that. That's one of the advantages in our fine state of Wisconsin. Yes. Not that Minnesota or Iowa isn't included in that. But uh, they're all over taking care of the roadways. All right, and well, here's why. Winter weather advisory, the area in the pink, a little less intensity, you go further south. You see all that area in the pink, did I say pink, purple? Uh, area in pink, that is a winter storm warning in place. Most spots through tonight, some into tomorrow. An alert day, yeah, it kind of goes hand in hand. Hazardous travel due to accumulating snow and the wind. The blowing and drifting of the wind, the visibility issues. You work your way I-94 and south, the conditions diminish accordingly. Here's where the snow is right now across pretty much all of the area. Not completely, but you see the darker blue. That's where the snow is heavier. It's kind of hard to tell a little bit. I've got it on a three-hour loop at this point. Temperatures right around the freezing mark, give or take, for some spots. That helps to some extent as far as the melting snow removal, but also it's a little heavier, a little heavier snow. We have the wind right now. The winds will be on the increase today. We're going to have winds out of the north by 20 miles an hour, gusting into the 30 plus range as we sit in the 30, uh, 30s today. So I'm going to go through your full forecast, let you know how much more of this storm to expect. Full forecast, that's about 10 minutes away. Alexandra? All right, Jeff will be tracking the storm for us all morning. We'll see you later, Jeff. Time now for our morning headlines. A lacrosse man has been arrested after allegedly launching a projectile at a police squad car on Saturday. Police say 30 year old Sean Keller drove by and threw an unknown object toward an officer's vehicle. The projectile exploded with a flash of light, damaging the window and door frame of the car. Keller then drove away, not stopping for officers. Over the past six months, Keller has shown similar behavior in three other incidents, including throwing ice and spit at squad cars. His arrest warrant included a $100,000 cash bond. The competency of a Toma man accused of trying to kill two people on Thanksgiving is in question. 44-year-old George Solis's attorney requested a competency exam for his client in court yesterday. According to the criminal complaint, he and his family were watching football on Thanksgiving when he suddenly stabbed one of the victims with a kitchen knife. When a family member tried to step in, Solis also tried to stab him. The first victim was taken to Gunderson with life-threatening injuries. Solis is currently held in Monroe County Jail on a $500,000 cash bond. His next hearing is in February. The Republican Party chair for the state of Florida is out of a job this morning. Christian Ziegler has been removed from his post amid an ongoing sexual assault investigation. The state's GOP suspending Ziegler last month, saying he would not be an effective leader while dealing with those allegations. Authorities are investigating whether he broke Florida's video voyeurism laws after allegedly recording a sexual encounter. He currently not facing any criminal charges. New Hampshire's Attorney General is accusing the Democratic National Committee of committing unlawful voter suppression in a cease and desist order. That new order comes after the party also said to state Democrats that delegates would not be awarded based on their primary. Last week, the DNC's Rules and Bylaws Committee sent New Hampshire Democrats a letter saying the primaries were, quote, meaningless. 
And the state of California is announcing when the special election to replace former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy will be. The primary for the special election will be held on March 19th, with the special election following on May 21st. McCarthy announced his resignation last month after being removed as House Speaker back in October. We could soon see higher internet bills. That's the word from the Federal Communications Commission, which is warning that millions of Americans could see those hikes if Congress does not approve funding for the Affordable Connectivity Program. That program helps give low-income families discounts on their monthly internet bill, and nearly 23 million American households take advantage of it. The White House has previously requested Congress to provide the program with another $6 billion of funding to keep it alive. NASA's Artemis moon mission may be delayed, according to sources close to the mission. It was expected to take four astronauts on a flyby journey to the moon. NASA's Inspector General previously hinting at delays in a report released back in November, citing issues the agency would need to address prior to the launch. The mission would be the first time humans would be in the moon's orbit since the end of the Apollo program back in the early 70s. This morning, there are more questions than answers as to how a door plug blew out of that Alaska Airlines plane mid-flight last Friday. The National Transportation Safety Board says it's investigating whether the missing bolts that held the panel in place were lost ahead of the incident or during. Both Alaska Airlines and United have reported finding loose hardware in their now grounded Boeing 737 MAX 9 planes. CBS News correspondent Jared Hill has the latest for us from New York. This morning, a major mystery in the Alaska Airlines mid-flight blowout. Federal investigators are trying to figure out what happened to the bolts that were supposed to hold the door plug in place. We have not yet recovered the four bolts uh, that restrain it from its vertical movement, and we have not yet determined if they existed there. That will be determined when we take the plug to our lab in Washington, D.C. After a days long search, they found one key piece of evidence, the missing door panel in a high school teacher's backyard. I was pretty surprised and um, also uh, amazed that that could be happening in my yard. Just one day after the FAA temporarily grounded all 737 MAX 9 planes, United Airlines said it found loose bolts in the door panel of their 737 MAX 9 planes during inspections. Text for Alaska Airlines reported seeing loose hardware on some of their grounded fleet as well. We need to first and foremost figure out what happened here on this aircraft. If we have a bigger system-wide or fleet issue, we will issue an urgent safety recommendation. The temporary grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX 9 is causing disruptions for thousands of air travelers. I need to get home. As we were walking out the door to go to the airport, the flight was canceled. According to FlightAware, Monday, hundreds of U.S. flights were canceled, thousands delayed. Jared Hill, CBS News. The Federal Aviation Administration said Monday the planes will remain grounded until enhanced inspections are complete and recommended repairs that come out of those inspections are done. Turning now to some medical news this morning. Whether you like it or not, the snow is here, and you know what that means. It's time to start shoveling. But did you know that tedious task can be hard on your heart and body? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, shoveling snow can be a strenuous form of exercise. You know that if you do it. But mixed with the near-freezing temperatures, it can trigger a heart attack. Chiropractor Dr. Dylan Hams shows us the proper way to shovel snow. If we get 10 or 15 inches of snow, don't go to the bottom and lift all of it at once get like the top portion of it. So just be really cautious with that. Ideally, push the snow, try to avoid a lot of aggressive twisting motions. According to the Mayo Clinic, if you do have to shovel snow, remember to dress properly for the weather, stay hydrated, try to shovel the snow when it's freshly fallen, and make sure you have your phone on you in case you do need to call for help. Wisconsin Republicans are unveiling their new medical marijuana proposal. That bill would limit medical marijuana to only severely ill people with chronic diseases like cancer. It would also only be dispensed at five state-run locations. Smokable marijuana would not be allowed. Governor Tony Evers spokesperson says he'll review the plan. Now the measure is far different from the full legalization Evers and other Democrats have been pushing for years.
Have you heard of sleep divorce? It may be a good idea if your partner's snoring, tossing and turning, shoving, whatever else they do keeps you up at night. Mandy Gaither takes a closer look at the growing trend and how it may save your relationship. It's a blast from the past, an old trend gaining new traction in homes across the U.S., sleeping separately from your partner. Sleep divorce, and I don't really like that name because it suggests, you know, divorce sounds so dire, um, but we want to achieve sleep compatibility, so it doesn't need to be an all or nothing solution. Psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig says sleep is a critical part of overall health, those who don't get their recommended Z's can be more vulnerable to certain medical conditions like diabetes, cardiovascular problems, even dementia. But she says sleeping in separate beds can impact intimacy. If you'd like to try the trend, she advises to go for it on an as-needed basis. If you have a big business meeting or if you find during the week it's really important for you to have good sleep, you know, you can find that you maybe have separate sleep for a period of time and then sleep together on the weekends. If you do sleep separately, Ludwig says to find time to be intimate and to connect with one another. And if you're not sleeping through the night when together, she says to make sure something else isn't at play. If you find that there's no medical reason for it and there doesn't appear to be some psychological conflict underlying the separate sleeping issues, you know, then you can figure out a plan that makes sense for both of you. The bottom line is sleep divorce isn't right for everyone and you should stick to the arrangement that works best for you. The time now is 610 still to come on your morning news. It is that time of year tax season. The IRS just releasing the date. It'll start accepting tax returns. We'll tell you when you can start filing this year in just a few minutes and retirees and those planning to retire may soon see some changes in both their social security payments and Medicare. After the break, we'll take a look at how the new changes may impact your wallet. That and more coming up this morning. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. If you're looking for a job right now, check this one out. Oscar Meyer is hiring a dozen new drivers for its fleet of Wienermobiles. The official job title of Wienermobile drivers is the hot dogger. It's their job to travel the country in one of the six Wienermobiles to meet and greet the public. Base pay is about 35K. Benefits include a $150 per week allowance, a health plan, and fully covered hotel expenses. If you're between jobs and you've ever wondered what it would be like to maneuver a 27-foot hot dog through traffic or how it handles at top speed on the highway, you can apply on the Oscar Mayer website. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now This Morning is after the break. That was funny. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. No way. Introducing Ultimate Precision LLC, your trusted partner for precision craftsmanship. From interior to exterior, our expert painters bring life to your vision with impeccable precision. Our masonry and building restoration team breathes new life into the old, preserving history for generations to come. We're the masters of tuck point, securing your structure's integrity one brick at a time. Ultimate Precision LLC, where craftsmanship meets perfection. We're here to deliver the ultimate precision. Does your home have a crawl space? When cold weather arrives, that can mean cold floors, frozen pipes, and higher energy bills. Protect your family and keep the cold air out this winter with expert crawl space sealing by American Waterworks. Sealing keeps your crawl space clean, protects pipes, and insulates your home so floors are warmer and energy bills are lower. A sealed crawl space means a nicer home. Don't wait. Call American Waterworks today. With six crunchy beef tacos plus a pound of potato Olays, our six pack and a pound is perfect for date night, movie night, thousand piece puzzle night, camping, tailgates, or any day that ends in Y. Get $2 off the six pack and a pound, only from Taco John's. 
the camper. It has been a reliable companion for your family's good times. But after years of use, it is showing some wear and tear. A broken window from an errant baseball, a couch that your dog allegedly chewed on, and an AC unit that doesn't work like it should. It's time to call Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. We have been improving your family's campers since 1970. Call us today and we will make your camper feel brand new. Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. Repair, refinish, remarkable. At Overhead Door Company, we repair any garage door and only install the best. Serving up to 100 miles outside of the Onalaska, Wisconsin area. When you need a door company you can trust with your life, call Overhead Door Company of the Seven Rivers region. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. God. What do you think you're doing? I like to sleep with my window open. You are not supposed to touch a thermostat. God. Hey, lady. When is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're gonna... Yeah, okay, well... Good morning, glad you're with us. Snowy Tuesday, it's quarter after six. Winter storm warning, the area in the pink. Purple, that would be a winter weather advisory. Less expectations on that. If you have yet, you should download our News 8000 weather app. Apple Store, Google Play is where you find it. It's for free. You keep up on the weather 24-7. That's a great suggestion. No matter where you're at, you can deal with uh, the weather situation. Get your knowledge that way on our alert day. Here's where the snow is. I took it out of motion so you can see where the heavier snow is at this point. But it's, it's changing as we go through the day. But everybody, really, I would say just about everybody in our viewing area is seeing something at this point in time. It's just a matter of what the intensity is. Temperatures generally around the 30 mark. 30 Eau Claire, 32 Winona, La Crosse is at 31 in a Prairie du Chien, 32. The wind's wrapping around the low, but they're showing an east-northeast. The winds, there's a breeze, but it's going to be more gusty as we get into the day, thus blowing and drifting. Light snow at that point, well, it really depends where you're at. It's going to vary in intensity across the day today, but it is going to increase. The snow mounts, the rate, and also the winds. I'll go through that. I have your full forecast. That is less than five minutes away. All right, Jeff, thank you. In your consumer news this morning, flavored cigarettes will stay banned in California. That comes after the Supreme Court rejected a challenge to the flavored tobacco ban. Major tobacco companies have argued the ban violates the Tobacco Control Act. That federal law leaves tobacco bans and regulation up to the FDA rather than states. In turn, California argued the Tobacco Control Act does not prohibit states from imposing their own regulations. Some employers may be telling employees to head back to the office, but office vacancies are still on the rise. According to Moody's Analytics, there are currently more empty offices than at any time since 1979. That's because, of course, more people are working at home. The office vacancy rate rose by 19.6% just in the last quarter. That marks the largest quarterly increase since the height of the pandemic in the first quarter of 2021. Well, if you want to get a jump on your federal income taxes, the IRS says it'll start accepting 2023 returns on January 29th. Mark your calendars. But if you're not an early bird, you will still have until April 15th to file those taxes. Anyone living or doing business in a federally declared disaster area may have a later date. The Wisconsin Department of Revenue will start accepting state returns the same day as the IRS. Again, that's January 29th. Managing your finances can be especially challenging if you're living on a fixed income, and this year won't be any different. Retirees and soon-to-be retirees could expect some changes to both their Social Security payments and Medicare. Ivan Rodriguez spoke with the AARP and has some tips. U.S. inflation continued to decline in 2023, and the financial picture for Americans, including retirees, is improving. For that reason, monthly Social Security payments will only rise by 3.2% this year based on the cost of living adjustment. 
AARP Senior Vice President Bill Sweeney says the boost is a bit disappointing in contrast to 2022's 8.7 percent increase, a 40-year high. This is probably not enough for them to, to, to be able to feel comfortable and confident about their savings. Another concern, standard premiums for Medicare Part B are back on the rise. The portion of Medicare that covers doctor visits and other outpatient treatment is up 6 percent. On the bright side, people who haven't retired yet can now sock more money away. People 50 and over can contribute up to $30,500 to a 401k or another type of deferred compensation plan this year. That's a little bit extra money that you can put away uh, in your retirement, which is a great way to save and get caught up uh, before you retire. Finally, four decades after Congress voted to slowly raise the full retirement age from 65 to 67, wow. the goal close to being achieved, reaching 66 in eight months in the final half of 2024. While you can begin collecting Social Security before age 67, your payments will be permanently reduced. On the other hand, Waiting until 70 earns you a bonus. We really urge people to, to think about what is the right age to start claiming Social Security to maximize how much money you can get. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now 619. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews for a look at today's forecast. Hi, Jeff. Hello, Alexander on our alert day. Winter weather advisory, the area in the purple. This is a winter storm warning. That's why an alert day covers an awful lot of area. Caution, all right? That's uh, pretty good advice. That's pretty basic advice. Hazardous travel due to the accumulating snow, the blowing and drifting, thus visibility issues too. We already have that. It's going to uh, diminish. The visibility issues are gonna increase as we get into the day a little bit here. I-94, working your way south, conditions deteriorate generally that direction. Here's what we're seeing right now, City Cam 8. I need to adjust that a little bit, see if I can get some good shots. This is where the system is, at least the core of it right now, where we are. The core is traveling south of us, south and east, but still, we're getting the snow, part of that whole process, the outer bands, if you will, I guess. This is what we're seeing over the last three hours. Snow across most of the area at this point. It's 31 in La Crosse. 23 is what it feels like with a little bit of a breeze at this point. Certainly, we have the humidity. You don't feel the humidity. There's dampness to the air. Eau Claire is 30 right now. Eau Claire is light snow. Feels like 21. A north wind at about 10 miles an hour. Generally, when you look at the winds across the area, it's in that 5 to 10 range. Some spots a little stronger than that out of the east, northeast, and they will increase as we get into the day. Here's where the gusts go. In intensity, as we get into the afternoon hours, that's kind of peak time, really. You're seeing some pretty high numbers here, generally, relatively speaking, close to 30 mile an hour gusts. Some spots a little stronger than that, out of the north at that point. Adding to the blowing and drifting, as I take you into our Wednesday, you see the color change. Yes, it gradually improves by the time we get rolling on our Wednesday. Visibility, here's where we're seeing the issues across really the whole area to some extent. Keep in mind, these are mostly airport locations, but look, one mile of visibility just about everywhere. Further north where there's less snow, better situation. As we look at the next hour or so, you can see the snow across the area. Taking you uh, into the afternoon, I wanted to stop it a little earlier to show you that. It's gonna be pretty widespread across the area through the course of the day. By the time we get towards 10 o'clock tonight, most of the snow is out of the picture for us at that point. Then we come back around on Wednesday night with the possibility of seeing a little bit of snow again. Won't be like what we're looking at through the course of the day today. Snowfall amounts generally northwest to southeast on the increase. Eau Claire, in this contour, you see one to three inches of snow. You look, uh, well, further to the south, south and east towards Madison, nine plus inches, close to a foot of snow is a possibility. Temperatures generally in the 30s for us today, low mid 30s. But with the wind, it's not exactly going to feel mild for us today on our alert day. Down to 25 tonight as the snow winds down. 31 tomorrow, possibility some snow in the evening portion of our Wednesday. And we see some chillier temperatures too as we work our way through the week into the weekend. We're looking at single digits for highs and below zero single digits for overnight lows. Thank you, Jeff. The time now is 622, still ahead on your morning news. Although he's not normally in a classroom, one banger educator is making a major impact on his students. Coming up, News 8 Now's Ken Kozarowski has the first top-notch teacher of 2024.
A few of our area high school basketball teams looking to start the week with a win on Monday night. Holman girls in a battle against Eau Claire North, plus the Bucks looking to get back on track. All that coming up in the Blitz. Hardy's double deal start at $2.99. Choose a double cheeseburger, bacon double cheeseburger, or new barbecue bacon double cheeseburger. $2.99 never looks so good. Hardy's goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. We know you care. But if this is all too real for you and your loved ones, make the call. Because we care too. Home instead. To us, it's personal. George and Heidi use Verizon. Dan and Tina have Spectrum Mobile. With Verizon, George and Heidi pay way more for their two unlimited lines. With Spectrum, Dan and Tina get one unlimited mobile line for $29.99 and their second line free. And with Spectrum, there are no added taxes or hidden fees. Dan and Tina save big, over $1,500 in savings. So George and Heidi, what do you think? We're switching to Spectrum. Get one unlimited line for $29.99 and get your next line free. Call, click, or visit a Spectrum store today. If you want the best dental care ever, come to Grand River Dental. They will take care of you. They put you in control of your own treatment. It was like over and done with in a short amount of time. You'll walk out of here feeling great and probably want more work done because they do such an awesome job. I mean, look at how pretty these look. <laughs> It'll change your life. We're an implant-focused practice. If you think you have a full mouth of challenges, come see me. Come down for a free consultation. Ever wonder why most window replacements fail? It's the installation process. Hi, I'm Steve from ClearChoice. Many companies rush through installations using the caulk and walk methods. They pop the old windows out, slap the new ones in, add a few screws and smears of caulk, then hurry on to the next job. Your window ends up barely hanging on. At ClearChoice, our weather guarding installation process ensures your windows are secure and airtight. Don't compromise on quality. Choose ClearChoice window and home solutions for windows that stand the test of time. Now at Hardy's, two hand breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardy's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardy's app. Welcome to the Blitz. The high school basketball schedule might take a little bit of a hit this week because of the weather, but we had some area teams in action last night looking for a win. We'll start. On the girls' side, let's go to home and Vikings at home playing host to Eau Claire North. Early first half, Danica Raban from downtown. You bet. Holman takes a three-point lead. Huskies answer back, though. Other end, Katara Smith from deep. The bank's open on Mondays. Eau Claire jumps in front by two. Holman responds. Raban, nice look to Hadley Teff. She gets the hometown bounce. We're tied at 15. This one was back and forth all night. North looking for the lead. Ellie O'Keefe getting fancy. Her pull-up J puts the Huskies back in front. But here comes Holman again. Great ball movement by the Vikings. Macy Klein buries the triple. Vikings go up 20 to 17. And then more great shooting from the home team. Sydney Velisca pulls up from three-point land. Nothing but net. Four-point lead for the Vikings. Second half now. Huskies not going away. Great find to O'Keefe. She floats at home. Eau Claire jumps back in front of the Vikings, showing their toughness off the miss. Teff grabs the board. Lydia Olsen is going to put it in. Big night for Izzy Jar as well. She had 20 and 15. Vikings storm back and get the win, 59 to 51. Over to Cochrane Fountain City High. Pirates hosting Luther for a non-conference matchup. The defending state champs off to a quick start. Logan Barr, the rebound. Full court pass to Sinclair Bias. Knights with the early lead. A few minutes later, Jackson Kendall hands it off to Barr, puts it up from three, knocks it down. Knights cruising at this point, but CFC storms back. Cameron Lipinski step back three, that's cash. Pirates cut into the lead. Then Drew Wicka, dribble drive, kicks it out to Austin Arnberg. He hits a three of his own. Pirates pull within five, but the Knights find another gear. Adam Scriver gets two guys to jump on the pump fake. He puts it in. Luther goes on to get the win, 82 to 67. All right, let's go to Whitehall. Norse taking on the Max out of McDonald Catholic. Max up early in the first half. Carson Galvez is going to put it in. That puts his squad up by 13. All right, later on, ball to Kale Holm now. He was on fire last night. Knocks back a quick three. McDonald still in control. But the Norse start fighting back. From beyond the arc, it's Grant Olsen. He knocks down the three. Whitehall hanging in there. 
All right, later on, Braden Lazowski's got the ball, pulls the trigger from deep. That one's good as well. North staying in the fight, but it won't be enough on this night. Holm is going to sink another one from downtown. Norris come up short at home, 65 to 45. Bucks back at home last night looking to get back on track. No Dame in this one, and it showed. Jazz taking full advantage of it. Utah puts up 41 in the first quarter. The Jazz never look back. They win this one 132 to 116. As for the Bucks, they've now dropped four of their last five. They'll look to get back on the win column Thursday night at home against those first place Celtics. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. High V hot deals are burning hot. Get bone in pork shoulder roast, just $1.48 a pound. Marie Callender's bowls or healthy choice steamers, just $1.88. And buy two, get two free on select Coke products. Only at High V. It's about passion. It's about achievement. It's about hands on. It's in our history. It's in our present and future. It's time to explore what Chippewa Valley Technical College is all about. Find us online at cvtc.edu and see what's in it for you. All the Taco Tuesday excitement at Taco John's can really start to mix things up. Just look at these delicious simmering Tuesdays. And on this taco, Tuesdays are only $1.19. See you on Taco at Tuesday John's, uh, Taco John's. We're starting the new year with our biggest sale of the year at Interior Designs Holman. All our carpets are on sale so you'll save money and get more for free. Free measuring and estimating at your home, free furniture moving, even that heavy couch and king size bed. Free removal of your old carpet and padding and we'll recycle it. Free life of carpet labor warranty for as long as you own the carpet. All at the lowest prices of the year and 12 months no interest financing. Save money and get more for free during the biggest carpet sale of the year going on now at Interior Designs Holman. Are you looking for a high paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Peer Dreams está creciendo y queremos que formes parte de una empresa exitosa, estable y segura. Estamos ofreciendo salarios más altos y más incentivos de pago que nunca. Visítenos en cualquier día para someter una solicitud de nuestra oficina de contratación o el miércoles para una entrevista inmediata. Ayúdenos a alimentar al mundo mientras le proporcionamos un entorno de trabajo seguro, un empleo estable y esencial con un salario fijo. Visítenos en cualquier momento en 502 West Main Street, Arcadia, Wisconsin o someta su solicitud hoy en peelgreams.com. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Save every day with Hy-Vee Perks prices. Campbell's Chunky or Well Yes Soup. Hy-Vee Perks price, $1.99. Fresh Express Garden Salad. Hy-Vee Perks price, $1.48. And Orita Potatoes. Hy-Vee Perks price, $4.99. Sign up for Hy-Vee Perks today. The First Warren Weather app. Download it today. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. With the first major winter storm of the season bearing down, shelters across the region are bracing for an influx of people seeking refuge from the bitter colds on the streets. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall has that story for us. It's the race before the storm. We've been giving out winter apparel, uh, coats, uh, hats, scarves, mittens, socks, uh, and when we've had them, some boots. Doing what they can to keep people warm ahead of the snowstorm. With the shelter already at capacity, Major Alan Hellstrom says it's all they can do. Since all of our beds are full, uh, that's all we can do. Um, we can't take any more in, we can't create any more beds. When we're full, we're full. Instead, the nonprofit is working with other agencies like Catholic Charities to try to secure as much shelter as they can for those sleeping outdoors. 
For those who will spend the night outside, Gunderson Health plans on deploying its homeless outreach team into area campsites to take care of medical needs that may arise. It's going to be wet. Um, we could have people with frostbite, people with, um, you know, that are sitting in wet clothing, which then, you know, they have trouble staying warm. So it is important that we are checking on people. Earlier, I spoke to a representative from the city of La Crosse. She says there are no plans as of now to open up its emergency day shelter. In La Crosse, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. And the city of La Crosse, meanwhile, declaring a snow emergency that is now underway. That means alternate side parking is in effect. Enforcement started at 6 a.m. about 30 minutes ago. It'll last 48 hours, so ending on Thursday. On odd number days, you should park on the side of the street with odd numbered addresses. And on even number days, park on the side of the street with even numbered addresses. To stay on top of all snow emergency alerts, you can sign up for text notifications on the city's website. We'll have a link on our website for you. News8000.com. Let it snow. The La Crosse Public Library threw a winterful winter wonderland ball last night for kids looking to have some frosty fun. The event was for kids ages five and under. Games, a sledding hill, a dance contest, even an epic snowball fight were all part of the wintry festivities. Frozen hot chocolate, which was actually ice cream in disguise, was served alongside other icy treats to fuel the night's merriment. There's a lot of beauty in the winter, um, even without the snow. It's just a time to get together and celebrate. So that's why we like to light it up a little bit um, to kind of offset the dark and the cold and just be together. Perfect time uh, for that. Nelson Ferris also said she's hoping the kids can continue their snow celebration today by waking up to a blanket of snow. Our first top-notch teacher of 2024 may not have a classroom of kids, but he is inspiring hundreds of students, if not more, in Bangor. It's thanks in part to a new friendship defined by a mission to spread kindness. News 8 Now's Ken Kozarowski has this month's top-notch teacher. Top-notch teacher is sponsored by Viterbo University and Dahl Honda. A classroom of kids every day didn't quite call to a young Matt Jacobson, but the counselor's office sure did. I shadowed an elementary school counselor and I'm like, this is what I want to do. Because he knew what it was like to feel lonely and how a little kindness and perspective could make all the difference. School is actually really rough for me. I graduated, I was 5'2", 91 pounds at a D1 school in Wausau West. And so school wasn't always the kindest place and now I just want to kind of be that that light to hope kids help them along. So since joining Bangor Elementary as a guidance counselor, he's put himself on a mission. Trying to make our world a better place. Kathleen Jensen nominated Jacobson for this top-notch teacher. They share the same mission. It's an honor to be his friend. Jensen runs the Little Heart Project. She crochets hearts with messages for suicide prevention. And in less than two years, volunteers across the country have joined her. Jacobson wanted his students to join in too. Just one problem, he can't crochet. So I kind of came up with this idea to make beads um, with pearl bead hearts. And Jensen loved it. Oh, this is what we can do with kids. And, and we're not going to talk necessarily about suicide in grade school, but we're going to talk about kindness. So each Tuesday, Jacobson's Make a Difference Club is churning out hearts of their own. Probably April and May to get 350 hearts made. Making sure every student in the school district has one and letting them know even a heart-shaped act of kindness can change the world. I think it's when you have second and third graders that come and bring me a heart that they made at home and they're like, we want to donate this to the club. And they know that we're going to pass it on to someone. And these hearts become people's stories. It's not just a little piece of plastic. The world's not always perfect. So we give hearts to them to try and make their day. Jacobson hopes the school club can keep extending their mission outside the building, like to a nursing home for next month's Valentine's Day, or even a tree during rotary lights. The time now is 637. Here is News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. Looks like people are hitting the roads this morning uh, from our camera views, Jeff. Oh, oh, definitely. I mean, obviously be cautious, but we got to do what we have to do, right? Winter storm warning. It's area in the pink that you see here. This would be a winter weather advisory, less intensity the further north you go, generally speaking. The warning goes in place or stays in place rather through tonight. Some spots tomorrow as far as travel. 
I know this may be a little dramatic, but I wouldn't drive if you don't have to deal with it. Caution really is the word. Snow, the drifting, and the travel issues across the day today should get better as we get into the evening as far as the snow intensity, but still going to have the blowing and drifting of what we've received on our alert day. Right, so caution on the roadways, accumulating snow, the wind with the blowing and drifting, the visibility issues. I-94 working your way south, it diminishes as far as the conditions. All right, here are the roadways. It's kind of hard to pick out, but you see completely covered. That's a good chunk of our area that has the roads covered at this point. Some are partially covered, so obviously travel is going to be a little dicey. Temperatures right around that freezing mark through our day today. Not much as far as high temperatures. It's about the snowfall totals. I'll go through that, let you know when this is going to be passed as this go round. I have your full forecast. That is coming up next, but the Buzz Report is going to follow that up. We're going to be talking about Kevin Hart. He has a new comedy. It's called Heist or excuse me, Lyft, it's a heist uh, comedy. All right, it's in your entertainment news. That's coming up, stay with us, we'll be right back. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Let River City Grill be your new lunch destination. Whether it's corporate lunches, parties, or events, we have the space and food for all of your gathering needs, big or small. We offer an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet from 11 a.m. till 2 p.m. with unlimited soup, salad, pizza, wings, and so much more. There's something for everybody. Stop by the bar and pair your delicious lunch with one of our many beers available on draft. River City Grill, Winona, Minnesota. Hello, I'm Christy Halenka, Reading Program Chair at Viterbo University. Viterbo is proud to serve our area communities by providing programs that produce quality educators and leadership in our schools. Viterbo University is once again partnering with News 8 to recognize outstanding classroom teachers in the area. We look forward to working with generations of teachers and change agents for years to come. Do you know a top-notch teacher? Then go online to news8000.com or write to this address. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. All right, we have alert day in place. Winter weather advisory for this area, see Eau Claire, Black River Falls, all the mileage, the acreage covered in the pink. That's a winter storm warning in place, primarily through tonight, some spots through six o'clock tomorrow. On our alert day, now you wanna be cautious on the roadways. Have to, I know I'm repeating myself here. There's a reason for that though, right? Hazardous travel due to the snow accumulation. We have the wind, you get the blowing and drifting visibility issues as well and we have those already 
I-94 and south conditions deteriorate accordingly the further south you go. Southwestern Wisconsin's getting the heavier snowfall totals as far as our viewership. Here's what we're seeing across our area right now, what you can see. All right, the system we're talking about, roughly the core, is to our south right now. Generally to the south, we'll go with that. Use St. Louis as a reference point. And this is what we're getting out of it. Closer shot. We have the snow, a little heavier in some spots at this point. The darker the colors the heavier the snowfall. It's 31 lacrosse right now, feels like 23. The wind at uh, roughly 10 miles an hour out of the north. The gusts in the 20 plus mile an hour range already. They're gonna pick up as we get further into the day. It's 30 in Eau Claire right now and feels like 22. A little bit of a wind chill with that north breeze. You can see where the winds are. Not overly intense at this point. I can see they're already beginning to shift out of the north. The gusts, here's where we're at right now, 20-ish. We get later on into the day today, the afternoon hours, we're talking gusts in the 25 to 30 range. Some spots like Prairie du Chien, you see the gusts. 36 mile an hour gust, blowing and drifting. Continues into this evening, then we get into uh, tomorrow morning. See the numbers, the colors uh, decreases. Better situation as we get into our Wednesday. The visibility issues you see, it's showing zero Black River Falls. Most spots pretty slim, so. That factors into the driving and your safety. Snow across the area towards the 7 o'clock hour. That on Sky Tracker as I take you towards noon. It shifts a little bit, but still a lot of us still seeing snow. Not necessarily Eau Claire in areas to the north and the west. Later on this afternoon, the afternoon commute. Here's where things are looking at that point, too. The track could shift a little bit. This is a pretty good uh, ballpark figure to watch at this point. Still light snow, afternoon commute for lacrosse. Then by later on tonight, that uh, hopefully should be it for us. Cloudy on our Wednesday. This is Wednesday night. Possibility seeing another round of light snow this go around. The amounts, roughly, you go towards Eau Claire, areas to the north and the west, one to three inches already. I think Eau Claire's already seen an inch or two. Then you work your way, higher amounts as you go south and to the east. Madison area, some spots could see close to a foot. In the 30s this afternoon with the snow varying in rates and intensity through the day, blowing and drifting. Here's what it's going to feel like. Basically 10 degrees chillier than what the air temperature is. In addition to the blowing and the drifting, 31 tomorrow, Thursday 26, Friday 26 with a chance of seeing some snow adding up a little bit. And then over the weekend, some pretty chilly temperatures. In our morning buzz report, ASAP Rocky is pleading not guilty to felony charges that he shot a former friend. The rapper, whose real name is Rakeem Mayers, pleaded not guilty to two counts of assault with a semi-automatic firearm at a Los Angeles court. The 35-year-old, who's the partner of fellow musician Rihanna, is accused of firing shots that grazed the hand of Terrell Efron, better known as ASAP Rally. That happened after a heated argument in Hollywood in November 2021. ASAP Rocky is free on bond. I feel wonderful. I feel wonderful. I mean, uh, it's a great location. It's a great honor. I have my friends here. Uh, there's lots of fans. It's a good day. Willem Dafoe being honored by the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The 68-year-old appeared to have a great time getting his star on the Walk of Fame. Dafoe is the 2,768th star on the infamous Walk of Fame. While most celebs leave after the unveiling, Defoe stuck around to sign autographs. The Spider-Man star was actually born and raised right here in Wisconsin. He grew up in Appleton and attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Can I get you a drink, Gabby? Agent Gladwell. Am I in trouble? We need you to steal something. That was a look at the upcoming Kevin Hart film, Lift. The heist comedy sees Hart lead a crew of international thieves who have to steal $500 million in gold bars, all while 40,000 feet in the air on a flight from London to Zurich. You can watch Lift on Netflix starting Friday. A missing scientist found on the edge of the villages, frozen solid. True Detective Night Country will be the fourth season of the crime anthology series. The new season stars Jodie Foster as the police chief of a town in Alaska. Foster teams up with Callie Reese to investigate the mysterious disappearance of eight men from a research station north of the Arctic Circle, where the sun doesn't come up for weeks at a time. The first episode of the six-part season comes out this Sunday on HBO. Well, as bad as our weather gets, at least... 
the sun comes up, right? We don't have to go weeks without. It's ironic you brought that up, that that kind of stuck with you, because I was thinking that myself. I mean, we've had all this cloud cover. Yes. But we don't have it where it's dark for weeks straight. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yes. we are lucky there. It's been yes. cloudy, but at least, you know, at least still we get see some daylight. Like daylight. Yes, yeah, 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 that would be a whole other, Whoa. whole yeah. other animal for sure. Mm. Well, before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's Eight. All right, Skylar is turning eight years old today. She loves being around animals. Yeah, it's hard to see her, but there she is. There's her, there's there's her she her is. Aquarium. She's also wearing camo, so uh, oh, sure. even oh, yeah, harder yeah, to she see. Was, I couldn't see her. There. She's <laughs> blending in. Happy birthday to her. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. That's right. Upload your photo. Just go to news8000.com, the Submit Photo tab. It's on our homepage. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know today in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is just after the break. Coming up on CBS Mornings, get ready for some big names and some big personalities. Anthony, as in Mason, talks with Oscar winner, that's Daniel Kaluuya, about his newest project. It's called The Kitchen. He co-wrote it, and he's making his directing debut. You can go, Daniel. Also, trailblazing model and entrepreneur, the lovely Beverly Johnson, will be here in studio today. 50 years ago, she became the first black person to appear on the cover of Vogue magazine. We'll talk about that. And she's got a new off-Broadway one-woman show. And if that's not enough, guess who's here today? Gronk is in the house. Four-time Super Bowl champion Rob Gronkowski. He's got an exclusive announcement about this year's Super Bowl. What's he talking about? We'll see you at 7 o'clock on the dot. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. Ready? Okay. Where there's a flooded basement, musty crawl space, or wood rot, there's an answer, American Waterworks. For more than 30 years, American Waterworks has been solving homeowners' toughest waterproofing problems. Schedule your free inspection and estimate today. I'm up, I'm up, oh, hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's? Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles, and get one for $1. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. During the New Year's sale at PM Sleep Center, save up to $600 on select Beautyrest Black and Black Hybrid mattresses. Your next mattress is at PM Sleep Center, giving lacrosse a good night's sleep for over 35 years. The First Worn Weather App. Download it today. Get the day's news in your inbox. Email newsletters from News 8 Now. Sign up today. Go to news8000.com slash newsletters to get started. Welcome back. It's 6.52. Time for your morning news now. A lacrosse man has been arrested after allegedly launching a projectile at a police squad car on Saturday. Police say 30-year-old Sean Keller drove by and threw an unknown object toward an officer's vehicle. 
The projectile exploded with a flash of light, damaging the window and door frame of the squad car. He then drove off, not stopping for officers. Over the past six months, Keller has shown similar behavior in three other incidents, including throwing ice and spit at squad cars. His arrest warrant included a $100,000 cash bond. The competency of a Toma man accused of trying to kill two people on Thanksgiving is in question. 44-year-old George Solace's attorney requested a competency exam for his client in court yesterday. According to the criminal complaint, Solace and his family were watching football on Thanksgiving when he suddenly stabbed one of the victims with a kitchen knife. When a family member tried to step in, Solace also tried to stab him. The first victim was taken to Gunderson with life-threatening injuries. Solace, meanwhile, currently held in Monroe County Jail on a $500,000 cash bond. His next hearing is next month. The city of La Crosse declaring a snow emergency that is now underway. That means alternate side parking is in effect. Enforcement started less than an hour ago at 6 a.m. It'll last 48 hours, ending Thursday. On odd-numbered days, you should park on the side of the street with odd-numbered addresses. And on even-numbered days, park on the side of the street with even-numbered addresses. To stay on top of all snow emergency alerts, you can sign up for text notifications on the city's website. We have a link to that website on our website, news8000.com. Whether you like it or not, the snow is here. You know what that means. Time to bust out the shovels. But did you know the tedious task can be hard on your heart and body? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, shoveling snow can be a form of strenuous exercise. Of course, you know that if you do it. Mixed with the near freezing temperatures, it can trigger a heart attack. Chiropractor Dr. Dylan Hams shows us the proper way to shovel snow. If we get 10 or 15 inches of snow, don't go to the bottom and lift all of it at once. Get like the top portion of it. So just be really cautious with that. Ideally, push the snow, try to avoid a lot of aggressive twisting motions. According to the Mayo Clinic, if you do have to shovel snow, remember to dress properly, keep hydrated, try to shovel the snow when it's freshly fallen, and keep your phone on you in case you need to call for help. Yes, an alert day, and here's why. We have winter storm warning across most of the area, areas to the north and west. The purple as a winter weather advisory in place through tonight, some spots through tomorrow. All right, travel, hazardous, accumulating snow, and uh, we've got the wind, the blowing and drifting, the visibility issues already. I-94 and south, the conditions deteriorate, Alexandra. And then we've got some colder temperatures, too, as we go a little further end of the week. All right, well, winter is uh, here, isn't it? It was knocking on our door for a while, but yes. now it just kicked it in. Somebody had to open it up, apparently. Yeah, yeah. was it you? Mm. <laughs> All right, moving on. Two comedy legends stealing the show at the Golden Globes. The pair of comedy legends taking to the stage to present the award for best actor in a comedy or musical. But their supposedly serious presentation was continuously interrupted by a funny little song. Leading the pair to break out in that bizarre dance routine, the audience reacted enthusiastically to the SNL alums who got a better reaction than the night's host, comedian Joe Coy. That is what we missed, I guess. I know, I'm like, oh, I missed it. I could have watched for that, yeah. Could have watched it, yeah. Don't, well, but lucky for you, time. you got to watch it uh, here, right? That's true, that's right. That's the beauty of one of the, you know, of technology. You can record stuff, watch it later, or watch it on News 8 Now. Yes, and see it all over your social media, too, I'm sure. That's right. <laughs> well, stay safe, everybody. Uh, Jeff will keep tracking the storm, so have an update Indeed. for us at noon. And we will see you then. Have a good day.